Unlock Tesla. Open Tesla charge port. Close all windows. With the release of Tesla's iOS app version 4.24.0 this August, Tesla added the ability to directly integrate Siri with the Tesla app. The release notes for the app state, access your vehicle controls and climate from the Apple Shortcuts app. Before this update, there were some hacky ways of directly integrating with iPhone shortcuts with Tesla's server to execute limited commands through Siri. With this new release, Tesla has opened the door for easy setup and access to an extensive list of climate and vehicle control commands, available not only on your phone but also on your Apple Watch. Now let's start setting up some shortcuts for our Tesla. Before starting the setup, make sure you have the Tesla app version 4.24.0 or later installed. Now open the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. Shortcuts is an iOS application that allows to access your apps through new Siri commands or create some task automation. The new version of Tesla app will automatically add some shortcuts for you based on your Tesla model. Model X supports more commands like opening specific door. To access them, scroll down to the apps section then tap on the Tesla app logo. Over here you'll see a list of popular shortcuts that been created for you. Like Lock Tesla, Unlock Tesla, which locks and unlocks the car, start and stop preconditioning the battery for charge, enable or disable sentry mode, and so on. You can use these commands out of the box and no extra steps are needed. But in case you'd like to add more commands, you can follow these steps. Go back to the main shortcut screen. Then create a new folder to organize your Tesla commands by tapping on the new folder icon on the top of the screen. Type the folder name, then tap on Add. Open the new Tesla folder, then tap on the plus sign on the top right to add the first shortcut. Tap on Add Action, then select Apps. On the search bar, type Tesla, then tap on the Tesla app. Over here you can see a long list of commands that you can add to your shortcuts. There are 8 climate control commands, including setting the temperature, a couple of entertainment and fun commands, and 12 vehicle control commands. Let's start with vent windows which is not in the list of default commands. Tap on this command. You can customize the command by opening the little down arrow and select rename. Let's change that to vent the car. Then hit done. Now if you like to add this to your Apple Watch, tap on the little eye icon at the bottom, then toggle show on Apple Watch. Now hit done and the new shortcut has been added to the Tesla shortcuts folder. Then let's add the opposite command to close windows. To delete a shortcut, tap on the edit on the top, then select the shortcuts you like to remove, then tap on the delete option at the bottom. The shortcut will be removed from both iPhone and Apple Watch. If you want to add a shortcut to your Apple Watch only, from the main screen, open Apple Watch section, tap on the plus button and follow the same steps as before. Now let's go to the car and try these shortcuts in action. Now let's uh, try those commands with the car. Hey Siri. Unlock Tesla. Model Y unlocked. Hey Siri, lock Tesla. If you have AirPods, you don't even need to take your phone out. Hey Siri, open Tesla charge port. Hey Siri, close Tesla charge port. One of the benefits of using this is you can open the front without taking your phone out. Hey Siri, open Tesla front. Sometimes it takes a little bit to connect and it's open. Now let's try the Apple Watch. Hey Siri, vent the car. Hey Siri, Close all windows. One issue that I've seen is that the trunk 
does not respond to this command very well. Hey Siri, open Tesla trunk. It tries to open it, but the trunk doesn't open. It sometimes works and sometimes not. That's the only function that I've seen is not working very well. Once again, thank you for watching. If you find the content in this video useful, I would appreciate if you hit that like button. And also please consider to subscribe uh, so I can reach to wider audience. My goal is to bring you useful content. I do a lot of research and I try to have my videos informative and I would appreciate your support and we'll see you in next video. Thank you.